Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, the 1st of May, 2019, the first day of the fifth month of the year. Hope you had a good trading week. Here's the ES Front Month Futures contract. Now let's go to the broader thing. Daily chart of the broad market and futures form. New highs, all time on the ES. Let's go through the daily charts of everything. See what we get. Here's the crude oil number down 57 cents to 63.34. Nowhere near highs. Gold down four dollars and thirty cents. Doesn't really matter. S and P cash index up two dollars and eighty cents. So two points on the S and P. It is an all-time high, but at the same time, the Nasdaq loses fifty-seven dollars and fifty-eight points. Socks up eleven seventy-four. That's not new highs. The biotech still down twenty-nine fifty-six. Member as go banks and biotech still goes the market and the. Biotechs are nowhere near highs at this point. Russell 2000 down over seven points. This thing hasn't made new highs since October. The VIX up a penny. It doesn't really matter. The trend, ten day, or the number on the trend is 1.03. The 10-day moving average is about there. So there's no signal there. Nasdaq volume 2.1 billion shares. It's bigger because of earnings than we've seen in a while. It was light early in the day. Remember, we have a two-day Fed meeting going on, so the announcement is Wednesday. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ is negative 478. So more stocks down than up. That's why the NASDAQ was down. Plus 292 on the New York. Google loses. God, on the earnings, 97.24. I mean, it's still in the top quarter of the year's range, but that's a big drop. That's what caused the NASDAQ to sell off. Apple down $3.94, rolling over a bit. Netflix down a buck twenty-nine, which is a blip. Remember, there's a 13 sell signal there on the daily chart. Amazon down eleven ninety. One. Tesla down two dollars and seventy-eight cents. That's pretty much new closing lows. Facebook down a buck thirty-eight. Goldman Sachs lost a buck. This thing hasn't gone anywhere. So remember, while we're at new highs in the markets, it's not well spread or well laid out. TLT, the twenty-year bond ETF up sixty-three cents. And that's it. Let's look at the intraday action. Here's the ES front month futures contract. So we got down a little bit today, uh, dead flat for an hour and a half, plunged lower on some Fed. Discussion. I think it was at Venezuela and some other things. Then we came right back, closed about even for the day. Like I said, the uh, S&P up two points. The Nasdaq side, on the other hand, you know, got down, went lower, came back, closed about where it opened. It went in a very uneventful session. There's nothing else to see there. All right. In terms of economic data coming out on Wednesday, the main thing is, look, there's the ADP non-marm. Non-farm employment change at 8.15. Final manufacturing PMI and ISM, manufacturing PMI, construction spending. Crude oil inventory is now in. And then we have the Fed announcement at 2 and the uh, press conference and that at 2.30. The Fed announcement is the whole deal. So we'll just see what we get. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Let's hope for something good. Have a great day.